If you live in the new world, chances are you're not interested in any Renault, let alone the Austral. However, it remains an important model to the French brand, which is why it's undergoing co cosmetic surgery as we speak. The mid-cycle refresh is presumably due in a few months and will replace the outgoing iteration, which is only two years old. The successor to the Kadjar utilizes the Renault-Nissan CMF-CD platform, which ties it to the Rafale, Espas, and Qashqai. The engine family comprises electrified units with mild hybrid and full hybrid technology, and depending on the spec, you can get it with manual or automatic transmissions or a CVT. We've already encountered the 2025 Renault Austral in the open recently, hiding its new look beneath trippy vinyl stickers. The model is believed to adopt a new corporate look similar to the one of the Clio, Capture, and Rafale. They were based on the latest scoops, which is why they are realistic, and imagine the compact crossover with a new face that looks far better than the current one. The rear revisions include all new tail lamps and a different bumper, and the Pixel Manipulator imagined it with a bi-tone look on decent-sized, for the 21st century, wheels. Rumors speak of the 1.3-liter engine being replaced by an updated 1.2-liter mill, perhaps benefiting from mild hybrid tech. The rest of the powertrain family will probably carry over with minimal to no intervention. The facelifted Renault Austral is likely due in a few months, with most reports speaking about a possible introduction before the end of the year, and others stating that it might debut early next year. One thing's certain, the facelift is far prettier than the outgoing one, and it should be one of the best-looking crossovers in the compact segment. Renault's facelifted Austral SUV has been spied testing, revealing a new set of lights and revised grille and bumpers. The update follows a template laid down by cars like the Rafale Coupe SUV and will be replicated on the bigger Asaps, a stretched Austral. Reports suggest Renault will dump the Austral's 1.3 TCE inline-4 for a more powerful 1.2 TCE triple when it updates the exterior design. Renault's Austral only arrived to replace the Kadjar in 2022, but since then the French firm has introduced a new corporate look, as seen on cars like the new Clio, the Austral's coupe brother, the Rafale, and the recently facelifted Capture small SUV. Now it's nearly time for the Austral to inherit the same face and it'll reportedly introduce some important powertrain changes at the same time. Our spy photo team snapped the revised Austral testing on mountain roads in Europe, 